Good evening, everyone. This is the third time I've tried to start tonight, as there have been technical difficulties left and right. Uh, the first time, Homeless Bill didn't have a uh, have audio. I assume that it was muted, though, because he got audio. I don't know. I didn't do anything. But anyway, uh, the second time, the capture sort of broke and didn't update the screen. So I was just sort of waving my cursor in blank space. Um... But anyway, tonight is March 26th, it's a Wednesday, and I plan to go over the UI 2.1. Uh, if you've ever tried to use this, you should know that it's pretty clicky. You click here, click there, click, 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 click. So I'm going to see if I can show you the fastest ways that I've found out how to find modules or equipment or engines, and hopefully if PGI is going to watch this, Maybe you'll get some ideas on how to improve on what you have right now, because right now, you have form over function, and we're really looking for function, and the form really isn't that good. You have scalable uh, resolutions, and I applaud that. That's what I wanted in 2.0, and you sort of went backwards. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into here. Hopefully, come on. No. Uh, inventory. Yes, it's working! Excellent! Okay, so... <laughs> um, just needed to make sure that was working uh, this time. So, um, here's the home screen, the very first screen that you see when you jump onto the game. Uh, up here you have your home, mech lab, skills, come on. Okay. Skills tab, the store, and the play button. Um, right now I actually dropped in here just to make sure. Yes, smashing success. Thank you, Bill. Um, I dropped into this mech earlier just to see if the game capture was broken. And it was. Anyway, um, so I'll go over the home, home screen first. Here we have a set of different... Uh, tab, select mech, inventory, achievement, statistics, redeem code, test and grand tutorials. And here we'll see our first bit of redundancy because select mech actually is your mech lab. Yeah, great job guys. So, <laughs> two buttons that do the same thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, next is your inventory and this is going to be quite helpful in finding modules uh, as far as finding equipment or cockpit items not so much uh, you can click on each and every single one of your mechs and up here you'll see your modules slot one slot two in some cases slot three or four and you'll see that my banshee 3s has my advanced sensor range and advanced zoom um, unfortunately from here <laughs> there's going to be a lot of unfortunately tonight I'm I'm sorry, I, I wasn't the made it I wasn't the one that made the UI and unfortunately. Anyway, um so you'll see your slot one and slot two. You can't unequip it from here though. You'd have to go into your mech lab and unequip it from there. I'll show you that in a bit. Um so this is going to be a little bit better um to find the modules than if remember this is if you don't know where they are, um this is going to be the quickest way to find it. Like, I was going through it earlier, and I found out, oh, look, my locusts actually have some UAV and, uh, already strike sitting on them. So, hey, I found something out. So, in your inventory system, you can sort it by alphabetical ascending, descending, and price ascending and descending, just so you know which chassis is going to be the most. This number right here is how much the chassis itself is worth. That's not the uh, that's not the engine. That's not any of the equipment. That's not even the armor. I think. Um, but moving on, now we have weapon systems, and these the the weapon systems, equipment, and modules tab in your inventory isn't exactly what I want to see in an inventory screen. This shows only what you have not equipped to a mech. Uh, I mean. Okay, I get it. It's an inventory. It's in a, uh, a cargo warehouse somewhere, and you have the manifest. That's great. But this is the stuff that you see in the mech lab anyway. When you're configuring a mech, you can see everything that you don't have, or that you don't have equipped. So if I'm configuring a mech and I 
have a missile hardpoint. I can see that I have three LRM-20s. That's not equipped. That's I can see what's in my inventory. What we would really like to see in this inventory screen, in PGI, uh, is... Th this is all fine and dandy, but what we would like to see also is some way to see what mechs we have items equipped to. So, what I would do, if you're taking notes, PGI, this is what I would do. I would list every single uh, weapon system, whether you own it or not, and then have them as a tab, like a drop-down menu. And when you click on one, it'll show, like, LRM-15. It'll show underneath LRM-15 quantity 8 unequipped. And then it would also show LRM-15 equipped in a, uh, a, cha a champion uh, centurion, for instance, or whatever you have equipped in. And it, you'll be able to see exactly which mechs you have equipped exactly with what um, item that you're looking for. Now, for weapons, this isn't really such a big deal. I mean, some of them are kind of pricey, like the uh, LB-10X. But... I mean, they're weapons. Like, I have 40 medium lasers left over just sort of lying around in that warehouse. What this really gets at, what would really be nice, is finding engines. Because, well, I can see how many engines that I don't have equipped. But where is my standard 300? It's, it's equipped somewhere. Where's uh, XL300? Well, it, it's equipped somewhere. XL340? It's equipped somewhere, but we can't find out from the inventory screen where that's equipped. And then, again with modules, if we would, would be able to find every single module that we have and easily unequip it from a mech, it'd be a step in the a right direction. Uh, let's go ahead, go back, here's the achievement tab. This was just added, and you can see the achievements that you have or haven't uh, gotten. And this will tell you what you need to do to get the achievement. Achievements that you have are denoted in blue. Achievements in gray are the ones that you don't have yet. And if anyone gets Death Star, uh, you are amazing. 12 kills in one match? Jeez. I think, uh, Homeless Bill, don't you have 10 kills in a match? If I'm rem remembering correctly. Anyway. Um, the statistics in Redeem Code actually don't do anything in game. Instead it opens up a browser window. It'd be nice if the statistics were in baked in game in a nice UI, but well, the way that you treated this one. Anyway, um, testing grounds is just a way to pilot your mech just to see how it handles. Um, I don't really find it too helpful <laughs> yeah, uh, Homeless Bill got 10 in a Cheesy Highlander and 10 kills in a Bracket Thunderbolt, so uh, that's that's nice. Anyway, so the testing grounds I find is more useful for learning the maps if you don't already know them. Uh, when you click them, whether your mech is in game or not actually, you can reuse your mech um, if it's still in game, if you just wanted to go around uh, something. You can select what map that you want from here, and you'll drop into a map with a bunch of enemy mechs just sort of standing around as there's no AI that'll shoot back at you. Um, so, you could test out heat efficiency, I suppose, especially now that they uh, fixed the skills in testing grounds, but even then it's not really combat scenario. And then tutorial, uh, that will throw you into a basic movement tutorial, and since I'm not covering movement or weapon grouping or weapon firing in this uh, stream, I'll leave that till another day. Anyway, um, and the last uh, thing of note in on the home screen, this is going to be actually also in the mech lab, um, is what... Uh, mech that you have selected right now. If you were to hit the play button, this is what I was. This was what I would be dropping in and remaining premium time, as well as uh, credits, MC and C bills. And fun fact, that's actually the most C bills I've ever had. So cool, yay me. Anyway, uh, moving on. This is the Mech Lab tab, which is also, if you recall, the select mech button. 
<laughs> and it is somewhat of a mess, um, especially if you have a large number of mechs. Um, so, there are different filters here. You can filter the trial mechs, the light mechs, the medium heavy assault hero and champion mechs. Um, which is nice. Uh, champions cover both the trial mechs and the champion mechs that you've purchased, as well as the uh, founders hunt, founders mechs, and uh, phoenix mechs that you've gotten. And I assume that when clans drop in June, you'll find the clan champion mechs here. Even though these phoenix and founders actually act like a hero mech. Ugh. Go figure, I didn't write the rules. And these aren't really filters, they're more sorting. If the, uh, yeah. Here's another top tip, uh, PGI. Filters that actually filter out stuff. So if I didn't want to see uh, trial mechs here, filter the trial mechs out and all I get is light, medium, heavy assault, champion, and hero. Champion trial mechs are separate. Um, you can filter, though, I should say, it looks like there are buttons here that look like you can um, change the sorting, how how it looks, but they don't work. Um, okay, the stream is still working, I just wanted to check that. <laughs> um, you can switch between owned and purchasable, and I'll get into this purchasable tab and why it's better than the store when I get to the store but it's going to be because of this button right here anyway uh, filter owned and for some reason when you go back to filter owned it defaults to trial instead of all go figure so um, personally this is sort of the screen that I use all the time just because clicking through all these is a bit uh, tedious but that's going to be a theme with UI 2.1 anyway so um, you know how to go about the home button and well you're in the mech lab let's go ahead and put together a mech um, what mech should we build let's let's go 4p just because laser boats and okay so you hit the configure button uh, PGI would be nice if you could double click. Ah! Actually, that's a good thing that I went back because the mouse over on a mech will show you the, some details that are oh, somewhat important. Um, yeah, I went ahead and did a screenshot of this earlier. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Because with the mouse over, I can't point out stuff over here with a mouse. So this is the info panel for any given mech. Right here I have the Banshee 3S and it will tell you how many hard points you have of each type, Ballistic Energy Missile, AMS, and ECM. It will tell you what upgrades you have equipped to it, uh, standard structure endo steel, double heat sinks, that sort of stuff. That's getting into the construction of a mech specifically, which I don't really want to uh, like what this I, I won't get into what each of these upgrades do right now I'm just telling you that's how you find it um, it'll tell you the max speed of your mech forward and reverse 63.8 and 42.5 is what this does and what the maximum engine size for this mech is which is good because even though uh, some chassis like the Banshee you know, you've got three variants not all the variants have the same engine cap in fact, this is a low engine cap compared to the other three, the Llama Lynch, the Banshee 3M, and the Banshee um, 5M? 5S, uh, 3E. Banshee 3E. They all have max engine sizes of 400. Um, this will also tell you the loadout that you have on it. Right now I have three medium, three large, and two ER large, as well as AMS. Uh, it'll tell you the armor. It says armor distribution. It's not really a distribution, it's just you have 528 out of 586 armor on it. Um, it's, this spider graph isn't the best. 
it'll tell you how much tonnage you're using, what your maximum alpha is, and what the heat management sort of looks like. So you could tell if you're not using all your tonnage or armor. Firepower? Eh. And then we have a bunch of information that we don't really need to know. It'll tell us the pitch and yaw, and it'll show you what the arms will go to and how much extra you got from uh, stuff like uh, skills and efficiencies and stuff like that. It'll show you your turn speed. Um, that's your stuff like anchor turn will help that out. Your acceleration, your deceleration, how quickly. We don't really need to know that when we're looking at a... Uh, just looking at a mech just quickly. What we would really, really need to know is what engine it has. Do you, do you, do you see a um, do you see a pattern? Do you see a pattern in this PGI? If there's something that's really expensive and we're only going to buy oh maybe one of them per account, it'd be nice to know where they're equipped. Just a tip. Anyway, um, ah. So that's what this information panel will give you on a mouse over. This isn't on. Let's see. I'll go ahead and minimize that. It doesn't doesn't matter. Clicking clicking doesn't bring it up. It's just on the mouse over. So that's why I went ahead and took a screenshot. Anyway, let's see. It is 7:30. Um, I'll go ahead and keep going. Why not? Actually, no. This is a good time to uh, take a break. So I'm going to take a short break. Um, I'll be back in five minutes or whatever with a drink. Um, so hopefully I am keeping your attention and doing a good job. And uh, 